Hello my friends, Bruce here. Well today uh, we got an interesting problem. Makita 2400 watt generator. These are fantastic generators. But it was given to my nephew by another guy. And whenever I've experienced uh, something like this being given away, there are usually three problems. You don't just, uh, you know, clean the carburetor and send it on its way, right? It's there's there's more than, there's more issues than the uh, than the average than the average guy would take on. And I'll just we'll just kind of start having a look. So first of all is the tank. So I'm going to stand up on my pail. And we'll have a look inside here. Maybe. Okay. Tank's bad. Now I don't know how bad, but we're not going to use the tank to get it running. We're going to get it running a bunch of bolts in there and we're going to tie this tank to my tractor wheel or something and we're going to try and scratch that rust out of there and then we'll use uh, one of those rust treatment liquids I have some and we'll see if we can improve this now unlike a lot of guys I don't have a lot of parts laying around for stuff like this Musty he does Musty one he just walks out to the shed and oh, I'm just going to get another tank for that guy <laughs> but I don't have that luxury <clears throat> pardon me but if we get it running we'll stick two of those gravity feed filters in series with each other to uh, make sure the dirt doesn't get back into the carburetor so now another thing where are we uh, a huge pipe coming off the Coming off the gas tank up there. Look at that. That's big. And then the uh, on off valve, that'll probably have to be cleaned. Um, I'm sure that this little filter will need to be changed. Okay, my friends. We got a generator that doesn't want to go. I've got the gas turned off so nothing evil happens and we're just going to see if it'll fire and we'll go from there I guess. Turn on. I don't know where the main switch is. That's the circuit breaker. Oh well, let's see what happens. A little bit of gas there. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can get her going. Close the choke a little bit. I did look in the tank and it's rusty. So let's uh, see if we can. Uh, it's got oil too. Uh, if we can disconnect this hose and hook up a spare. I already thought about this. Hook up a spare gas tank to it. It might do it. Ugh. 
really hard rubber. I think this generator has been sitting for a long time. Just a two inch piece of hose, right? Yeah. That, that is on there, man. Okay, right, back to the proper tools. Yeah. Holy moly! Okay, we got a little dad gas tank up here, full of good fuel. Okay, turn that on, see if it leaks. No, but it's drinking. Good. Okay, it's choked. Gonna get gas, let's see if it runs now. So if something's not right, okay, let's turn this thing off. Okay, well it runs. Not great, but it runs. Just turn this gas off and remove this for now. That might work. Okay, let's get a light and a pointer. Okay, there we are. Right there. I think the hole of the carburetor butterfly, which is right there, should be on here. Because if you look over on the other side, it's past the first bend. And he's got the first bend in the butterfly throttle. So then it's blocking right there. It's blocking us. Do you see that? So let me just get in there if I can with my hands. It's hitting right there. There. So the throttle can't open up any more than that. So we're going to have to remove the carburetor to do that. Which isn't a problem, but I'm sure we've got more than one issue. Okay, I just moved this filter, or this clamp filter, this clamp up, and I want to bring this clamp down. And I want to get that hose off of the gas tank. I don't know how it's going to go, but I've got my new pliers. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I don't expect any gas to come out of there at all. Oh, that's in. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that. All right, so that's going to have to come off and get cleaned. Should we do that right now? Oh my gosh, that is as ugly as a mud fence. Let's see, that looks like about a 15 millimeter to me.
I just want that didn't feel right for a 15 millimeter. So I'm just gonna try a 5 8 and see if that's oh. okay. Well, uh, it can be a, it could either be a 19 or a 14 millimeter, a 9 16 or a 14 millimeter. So Trey. <laughs> Okay, maybe we'll use two trays. All right, now we're gonna get that, let's get that carburetor off of there. Huh. Huh. I should have rehearsed this, but I don't rehearse. 10, 11. Okay, it's it's smaller than a ten. It's bigger than a ten. Sorry, bleh, bleh. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see. It's got a tab on there. That's what's happening. We need a device. Imagine that, eh? There. Now it'll be a ten millimeter. I didn't see those at first. Okay. 10 mils. 10. One more. Good. I think I'm going to undo that uh, choke assembly. It'll have a mark on the bar where it was. There, now we can get the air filter assembly off of that. <clears throat> Let's get this fuel line off of here. It's rotten. Oh, I didn't even need my fancy pliers for that. Now, I just have to get this carburetor off of here. Um... And springs. Are you guys getting some of this? I think you are. Okay, big spring. Leave that hang. Good. And that spring will come with it. Good. Carburetor's off. So this is what I was talking about right there. This was hitting there, and it wasn't allowed to throttle up. And I think it should have been sitting there, not there and hitting here. You can see that, eh? It was hitting right there. And it should be, if I... Here, it should be like that. Okay. So we got the carb off. 
and I'm just going to have a look inside because I'm a curious kind of guy. Oh yeah, you can see the scars on the top of that too, eh? Manifold, intake manifold looks good. All right, so we'll come back in one second. All right, so this is a Makuni carburetor. I, I thought it would be because the, the bottom here is a 12 millimeter and most of the Hondas are 10. And it says Makuni right there. Uh, right there. Oh, I got a line. Okay, so let's just have a look inside. It's not that bad. Good. Okay, so. We've got our little basket for the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. Ah. Don't like that. Well, it doesn't have a rubber tip, so that's good. Let's just see if we can skirt a little goo through there. Yep. Well, that's good. Good. Alright, now the next thing is to get these jets out of here. Can't see through that one. Oh yes I can. And I have to give it a shot. You guys know me. But I'm gonna put some gloves on. And yes, I still use these blue ones because I've got boxes of them. Probably the idle circuit. Just goes in tight. Yep. So I should be able to squirt a little bit of gas from one side to the other first. Oh, there's not much else to it. Let's see if we can get that big jet out of there. It might not come out of there. It might be pressed in there. If you guys, my Makuni friends, if you're there, you can let me know. This is just to get the crud off it to keep my uh, ultrasonic cleaner happy. Okay, now let's get that seal out of there if we can. Hmm, don't want to cut it. There we go. Here, we're not going to put that into the bath. There's not much to it. Okay. So now we're just going to do a little pre cleaning. I know this drives my friends crazy, but hey. So now we have a long ways to go. My uh, ultrasonic cleaner is only at 12 degrees Celsius right now. <laughs> yeah, winter. So it's just heating up. 
We'll come back to this later. Put that in here, put that in here. Do we need to clean this? Well, let's just put it underneath there. And put that in there like that. And now we are going to look at this fuel shut off. Hmm. You with me? And you're still recording? You bet. Well, it doesn't look too complicated. Let's get that. Phillips. I think this is going to get a bath too. Good. Excellent. Doesn't look like there's been any damage. It's plugged. Good. Okay, so those are more parts for us to wash. I'm not going to wash the screw. That would make things confusing. I'm going to leave this little washer on here. Oh, yeah. Now, I wonder if I can just shoot right through there. Should be able to. Yep, yeah, that's good. I guess I could take I could take this off and see. Is that a 12 as well? Yes it is. <clears throat> I love it when stuff comes apart. Not very often these shutoffs survive being beat up like this, eh? I know you guys are going, just put it in the, put it in the washer. But I really like to tear stuff apart to see what it looks like inside too. Oh, it comes around. Good. I'm just going to put that back together again. I'm going to pour a little gas on it. Just so that the, the carburetor cleaner doesn't ruin the seals. Good. Now, the sediment bowl. <laughs> but I think we're going to be all right. gas on that. We don't want to wreck this old plastic, right? Okay. Good enough. So I think that can just lay right in there. And uh, get rid of this crud. So that's the carburetor. So as soon as the come with me, my friends. As soon as this uh, ultrasonic cleaner is ready to go, okay, it was at well, it was just saying low, and then it went to 10 degrees and started warming up. So there we go. We just went to 17. So this is going to take an hour, an hour or two. So you've seen this before. I'm just going to drop the basket into the juice and run it for 30 minutes. And this is my prize right here. So now, 
I think this is going to work well. It looks to me like uh, everything's going to be fine except for this rusty old tank. So let's see if we can do something about that. I'll be back in a bit, guys.